Alright, well welcome back. So today we're going to sit here and we're going to show you how to use the workshop right here. So you just click on the workshop. This is the actual website. It's uh, workshop.islands.com and you'll see all the nice buildings, ships, houses, and all sorts of things. Um, I did upload Chief's uh, Skyrim house, so we'll go ahead and use that today. And you'll have to be sure to log in right here and it'll ask you all that information right there. Alright. Alright, so here we are. We have Chief's house. I have some pictures here to show you what it looks like on the outside and what it looks like on top. And these are the noted players that have pieces that are inside this. Uh, and we'll go through them right here. So we have a deck boat of matches by Spyler1989. It's a pretty cool little item there. Then we have uh, the piano by Dame Marianne. It's, it's pretty cool looking. I, I really like the, the attention to detail there. And then uh, the wooden cart by Iceman and a bunch of numbers and letters, which looks pretty good. And you can actually, if it works, there we go. You can actually use it empty or you can put stuff in it, which is, which is pretty neat. And we'll go to Chief's build and you can see it right there. I think it's empty, if I recall. But yeah, yeah, it's empty. But uh, we'll go ahead. So you, all you do is you... Oh, well, I guess I need to get in, huh? Let's go back to the workshop. All right, so here we go. The yellow button right there, you just click to subscribe, and you'll get this green banner right here that says subscribed. Now, it may take a few days for it to show up, which is unfortunately how the workshop is working right now. And be sure you're not in game. When you're not in game, it seems to work better so and, and faster. So, all right. Well, let's hop in the game. All right. So, here we are in game. And what we're going to do first is we're first going to create an explore world. So, let's go ahead and start game. It doesn't matter what you call it. We'll, we'll do a workshop. How about that? Workshop. There we go. Single player. You know, we'll leave the damage and stuff on. So, we'll create the map and we'll get in here and the reason you're doing this first is so where you can use it in the editor here in a minute so we'll get there here in a sec it does take a while for it to create a new map now but I think these new maps are so much better than what they were come on dig 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 And I, I don't want to cut away because I, I don't want you to think that I did something that's not on camera, you know, or being recorded. So we'll go ahead and do it through the whole thing. That way you see the whole process. All right. So here we are. We're in the world. I thought that was a bear for a sec. I was like, that's a horrible start. But, uh,. You'll notice all we have is a broken protective barrier. Well, we need to repair that. And to repair that, you need crafting. We need the uh, iron ingot and the any hammer. So we'll fix that here in a second. All right, so let's get out of here. But now we have our world. And what is our world called? Workshop? Yeah. Alright, so you click the editor and you go into here, you go create. <coughs> and all it's doing is loading that blank map, but we don't want the blank map. We want your world, because we want to take that workshop item and put it into the world. So you go games, and you go down to your name of your world. Loading, loading. <coughs> there it goes. I was about to say, don't tell me we're not crashing. I've noticed we have more crashes now, though, since the update. But, alright, so here we are. <coughs> we are in our world. Now we need to give ourselves the iron ingot and, and, a, and a hammer. But you also need the camera. So the easy way, I mean, you could scroll through all this and do all that, or you can just type in 
we want the cube okay so let's go ahead and drop the cube right there that's fine now you could just drop the cube and that be that but we want to go ahead and do all of it so we'll do that we'll do the iron hammer as well and I believe that's it oh the camera can't if I can spell there we go and the camera and this is so where you can capture your blueprint or capture your build and get it as a blueprint now you can come over here to the composition which is the big three blocks and we come over here and we'll find chief's build there it is it's right there and this thing is huge as you may notice okay we need to clear a spot let's do that real quick come on right click to go away uh, no escape is that going to let me there we go alright alright so let's clear out a spot we'll just right like this and we will delete all that I think his build will fit in there and we are looking at the back we want to flip it around to the front and unfortunately it's going to bury it so maybe we should flip it back around laggy laggy alright let's see how that is so you left click to place it right click to get rid of your your indicator and there we have it he has you know it is buried a little bit but that's alright you'll capture the whole thing by being at the lowest point of the build alright so all we're going to do now is we are going to save which you can do this or you can just exit and be sure to click save and watch that the game has saved right here and we'll, then we'll go ahead and quit the main menu and this is where you can save it as well but I never do I always do it the other way that way I guarantee myself that it is saved alright so there's workshop right there so we'll go ahead and hit play hope everybody's having a good day I'm having a great day now that the servers back up man I tell you what that took a whole day to get the server back up and it was not our fault it was not our fault at all so there we have it <laughs> I thank you go ahead and equip that creator cube or not creator cube sorry crafting there we go and now we have our protective barrier which we can go ahead and place that there we can go ahead and place that over here and whatever alright so might be also better if we go ahead and grab a propeller pack and the way I always do it, I don't hit equip, I just place it in inventory first and then I go to the inventory tab and then click it to get it over there. That's the way I always do it. it, it to me it's just a precautionary thing. So here we go, this is his build. And let's go ahead and go through it. Um, I could flatten this all out, but it's essentially just crops over here. But let's go in. Alright, so let's go first person. So he's decorated. He's got an alchemy uh, alchemy table. Yeah, that's what it's called. Alchemy table there. I mean, it, it's it's a nice build. A map there. You can go ahead and use some storage um, armchairs. He's decorated this whole build, but it, it's a pretty nice build. So you have the main, I guess, the uh, dining hall. Little, little dart board right there or dart throw a knife board a little bar we'll go left a little garden area so there we go and then over here yeah storage 
and cooking. And this is a uh, kiln upside down, or not upside down, I'm sorry. That's the front of it facing up. <laughs> He's done some wild stuff. Uh, what is that? Oh, just pans hanging. Alright, cool. And then we'll come out the back, back here. This is a storage house. The uh, tools, the blacksmith, the, the uh, furnace, locksmith table. So he has all the tables in here, and that's a f the uh, furnace foundry upside down. And there's the piano. So that's pretty cool looking. I mean, take a look at that. I, I can't imagine the time it spent, this guy spent to build this. Or girl. I don't know who it is, but I haven't talked to them. And then uh, the stairs are over, back over here this way. So we'll go up. And, um, yeah, let's go this way. So he has uh, the medieval windows all lined up right here. So you can see down. Nice, nice. He has a balcony on both sides. Little umbrellas. That's a pretty cool touch. Fishing rods right there. Some fish and stuff of that sort. You can also go down this way and check out the wagon there. Some living area right there. A bigger bed there. Whoop! I totally missed that. And then uh, he has archery. So archery right here. And yeah, I thought something was around this side. So we have the bows and crossbows. And let's go on this way. And this takes you back into the room where the beds are. There's that one. And that one. You can actually go up here. And you have a nice little, nice little view. Yeah. And then go back down. There we go. And there's the ship by Spyler. So that's pretty cool looking. I mean, man, the detail. But anyway, this is uh, his treasure room. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. And my favorite painting in the game, right there. But all right, so that's that's what a composition looks like. Let's see what a blueprint looks like. Now I didn't close any of these doors, so they're probably going to be open when we ah, come on, when we go back in. Here, let's let's go ahead and shut them all. I think I got these two. Yep. Okay. A lot of doors. A lot of doors. And personally, I would flip the doors so where they go the same way. But you know, some people like them go in the opposite directions. Um, close this. There we go. But I, I like them to go the same way. So you see it's all furnished and everything of that sort. So we'll go ahead and take our protective barrier, number nine, right there. And then we'll go ahead and activate it. Yes. Okay, and then you can grab your camera and come out to the furthest point. So it would be better if we come back to this back corner since it's in the air. And we're right here. Oh, I did not place that right. Man, this build is bigger than I thought. Holy cow. Alright, but you'll get the gist of it. We'll... You know what? We gotta fix that. Let's go back. <laughs> well, well, well. And you may notice we're not having to eat, and that's because we have the creator cube. So we'll go back to create. And in create, you can actually move anything. So it's pretty cool. 
Um, we'll go back into our game. Games. Yep, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Slow down. It's, it's a little delayed. Hopefully you won't have this problem. <laughs> where you, you just place a protective barrier in the wrong place. I might actually have to move it to the middle of the house. Which is fine. So I'll probably just do that. Come on. Alright, so let's go grab this. We'll move it. And we'll come this way with it. It doesn't really matter where it is. The important thing is, is that you're totally inside. So let's verify on this side. Yep. Alright, now we're good. We're good now. Go ahead and save. I, uh, item has been saved. Don't save. And then we'll go back in. So yeah, now this is becoming a little bit longer than what it should have been, but it's all good. But don't don't be intimidated by the editor. Um, it looks totally different from what I I was used to and comfortable with, but it is better now. I, in my my humble opinion all right so we'll go back to this we are back over here so let's go ahead and click right there and we'll come flying over here I wish there was a way to go faster but there's not um, I think you have to come this way and then this way to get the whole thing make sure we get those stairs and then go up, up a little more, up a little more, and there we go. So we have the whole build, and you want to go ahead and get situated for your picture. So let's go see, and then come down, and this picture will be what's saved as, as your blueprint. Some of the bricks are not craftable. And we knew that. So Chief's Skyrim house. There we go. I can spell, I swear. Alright, there we go. Chief's Skyrim house, yes. Now we, we actually have it as a blueprint now. Which is right there. So there we go. You'll see all the building blocks are going to be here and let's actually come on work with me let's actually come over here to a flatter area and outside the protective area now we could go ahead and clean up all this stuff but I don't think it really matters for what we're trying to do. We're just trying to show you how it works. The, the front's that way. So we'll go right here. There we go. It's snapping the grid now. Let's go right there. Okay. And then this has to sort of touch something. Oh, there we go. I got it. Okay. Now you notice it's it's still thinking. Now you see that line going up, right? Then you can touch the protective or the uh, blueprint machine. Do not let anyone touch it until it fully loads. If someone does that, this blueprint's stuck and so is that stupid machine. <laughs> so all right but so there we go um, now the hard part getting all this material but luckily for us we have the creator cube so we have stone um, 
not what I wanted, but okay. Add. Did that? No, it didn't work. No, okay, so you can't use it that way. Get out of here. So let's do this. Place an inventory. 50 sounds great. Let's go ahead and do that. Here, let's let's switch these items right like that. So there we go. We have stone chunks. We need 425 sticks. And the way you do this is control. So 400 and 25. Boom, there we go. What else? I mean, there should be a quicker way to do this, but the whole thing is, is how many people build with a creator cube and just throw items in their inventory like this? Just to throw them into <laughs> a blueprint machine? Not many people are doing this on a server. So if you're if you're building whatever you want, then the whole thing is you do doing creative or the editor. At least in the editor, you can actually uh, turn blocks and uh, have them go uh, like a rounded. You can actually do the logics and make it so where they go in a circle and all that, much like the pavilion. And it it looks pretty nice can't really do that any other way unless you want to free place everything which is horrible free placing just takes forever and then you I never seem to get them right you know exactly right or right where I want them and then when you place an item because it's not in the editor it's pickable so there's that too and I think that's all the clay right Stand back and watch it finish. Go, go, go. <laughs> but see, it's kind of depressing because of things like that wagon right there. Okay, did I get all the material? Yeah, alright. That's everything. It's just... It's getting there. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's right here on this wall. And it looks to be building back over there somewhere. I know the bottom's the end, so... Which is weird. You would think that, that it'd start with the bottom. It's a really nice looking build though. And I, I personally don't play Skyrim. So I don't know about all this, you know. Looking exactly like it and all that. Man, is this still doing the mark? Ah, oh, that is clay. That's clay. It's... But it's still doing stone too. I think. No, that is that's marble. Wow. This build takes forever. But you get the the little racks that he's made too. And he got those from somewhere too. I I can't remember where. I want to say a couple of his blocks are uh, duplicated. Oh, is it done? It is done. Yep. All right, so let's go take a look. So you saw that house was all furnished and everything, and you already see the plants aren't here. Well, that's nice. The pillars are here. Oh, well, yeah, because they're, they're part of the build. But yeah, completely empty. Completely Oh, wow, the wooden box is transferring. That's nice. I didn't know that. All the clay in here, all the wooden boxes. That's nice. 
little little bar stays with it. And again, the uh, weapons racks and tool racks stay. <laughs> the bottom pieces of the uh, piano. All right. But I mean, that's this is pretty much the difference between between a uh, at the bottom of the bed. Anything over here? No. But that that's the difference between the the composition and the blueprint. The composition, every everything stays in it that was already in it, and then the blueprint, nothing really stays at all. So not even the archery tables. He has the uh, again the racks on the side here. And that that was fishing poles on this side, and the archery is gone from over here. But yeah, so that's it. But that's the difference between the composition fully furnished and a blueprint is not. However, you can throw this blueprint anywhere in the game, on any server. You just have to have all of those materials to build it. So I wouldn't recommend building something so big that you're not going to find that much material or it's going to take you forever and a day to build. But all right, well, that's it for us. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time. Y'all take care. See ya.